You're looking at your friends with the Google Pixel devices and their fancy software updates on time and your old OnePlus 6 or any other phone for that matter is just stuck on that June patch from last year. Let me show you how to get the latest version of Android on your OnePlus 6. Before we begin, I'd like to give you a general disclaimer that if you follow this process incorrectly, it may break your phone and you might need to visit OnePlus to fix it. So please, please, please watch this video carefully and it works, but only if you follow the instructions exactly as I say. All right, so without further ado, to begin, you need a few things. You will need your OnePlus 6, a PC, an internet connection to download the files, and uh, we're going to be installing Android 12 custom ROM made by this developer on XDA. The ROM is called Siberia and it is epic. First, let's start by downloading these five files. So you would need minimal fastboot and ADB, the Siberia ROM itself, gapps, and TWRP, which is the recovery that we are using today. And also we will need the latest version of Oxygen OS, which is required for this ROM. You can start by clicking on these links and opening new tabs and waiting for them to download. They're fairly large but shouldn't take too long on a fast internet connection. While they are downloading, back up everything that you care about and is important on your phone and make sure you keep it in a safe place outside of your phone. So like Google Photos, cloud storage, external flash drives, stuff like that. Now go to About Phone and tap the build number 10 times and that will unlock developer options. Once unlocked, you can enable USB debugging as well as OEM unlock if you're doing this for the first time, which I'm thinking almost all of you are if your bootloader is already unlocked, then you can skip this step. Now, turn off your phone and start it by pressing and holding the power button as well as the volume down button to boot into this bootloader interface aka fast boot mode. Now make sure the phone is plugged into the PC you're using and use the USB-C cable that came with it or use any that you have handy. You don't want it on a shabby USB hub. Now go to device manager and scroll down to see Android with a little yellow triangle. It might not be there sometimes, but that's the device we're looking to install the driver for. But before we do that, we need to install minimal fast boot and ADB that we downloaded earlier. So go ahead and install minimal fast boot and ADB. Once installed, you'll see the screen just minimize it for now and go back to the device manager where we were before. Just right click the Android with the little triangle and update driver, then click on browse, then click on let me pick and then select Android and then Android bootloader interface and then hit finish. It might give you this warning but it's okay, I've tested it, it works. We have to do this because the official driver for OnePlus is not signed anymore, so we cannot install them. We have to force the Google driver. Now, get the TWRP file that we downloaded earlier and copy them to the minimal fastboot and ADB folder and enter this command. You can just copy and paste the TWRP file name and then add IMG at the end to make it easy. So first, you need to run fastboot space devices to check that your connection is correct. Then you run fastboot OEM unlock if you see the serial number of your device. That will unlock your bootloader and wipe everything on your phone. Next step is to just type fastboot reboot bootloader to get back to the screen. So you'll be typing fastboot space TWRP blah 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 you can see on the screen the exact name once you do that your phone will boot into this screen now you need to copy all the files that we downloaded to the phone so it should be visible on your PC as OnePlus A6000 or 5000 click on that and copy the ROM Google Apps recovery zip and oxygen OS to the phone now if you go to install on your phone you should see all these files that you copied in the folder and let's start installing first. So TWRP, click on that and watch it install. Now reboot to recovery again by pressing the button. Once you're in the recovery, install the ROM first. So select the Siberia file and hit install. It'll take a bit to install, then reboot to recovery again.
Now install the OxygenOS firmware.zip that we downloaded earlier. Then without rebooting, you can select Google Apps that we downloaded as well. Now this step can take a bit so you can see it. For the final step, click on wipe, then swipe for factory reset, then click on format data, then type yes on the keyboard that pops up there. It should be a button that says reboot system. Press it and watch your phone reboot to a brand new OS that you would love to use. You can see you're running on Android 12. Everything is better, smooth. There's this new notification shade as well. And just to point out a few things with this operating system is that the kernel is set to permissive, which some people think is a security risk and it is true. Also A2DP, which means your Bluetooth device's audio doesn't work at the moment. So if you use it regularly, wait for an update, that will fix it. But other than that, it's a daily drivable ROM. I've been using it for a few days now with no issues. Another bonus feature of this ROM is unlimited Google photo storage, which Google might not like. But hey, it's there. Show it to your Pixel friends that you got unlimited storage too. All right, guys, if you have a question or a video suggestion, drop it in the comments down below. All links are in the description as well. I'm thinking of making this a season of some sort. So next week, I'm going to be doing a Google Pixel 2 XL. It's going to be fun. So subscribe if you'd like to see me cover more phones running the latest version of Android and the security patch. Anyway, guys, smash that like button if this video helped you. Consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell just down there. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.